Hi Leute und willkommen zurück zu Genshin Impact 5.1. Wir machen mit der Story weiter. Wir gehen runter zur Arena. Hm, immer noch wenn der Rauch zieht. Quest. Genau, ich wollte den Schatzkompass ablegen. Und so. years i've never had a child cause me so much grief do you seriously not see what's at stake here you've got a head on your shoulders auroron use it why did you help the captain and i want the truth this time <laughs> no answer think you're being smart <sighs> then let me ask a different question What does the captain want? What is his purpose in Natlan? Uh... <sighs> really? You're just going to stonewall me? Uh... <sighs> just use your brain for a second. What do you possibly stand to gain by helping the captain? Only endless trouble awaits you and everyone in the tribe. You've always been a good kid. Why would you throw that all away now? If you're worried about something, just talk to me. Granny would much rather we had a conversation instead of constantly clashing like this. Um... Uh... Why is he staring at... I'm sorry that you have to hear all this. Indeed. It's like going to visit a friend at his house, only to suddenly hear your friend berating a naughty Saurian. Well, that's an oddly specific analogy. Wait, did one of your friends really do that? Yes. And every time my friend scolded his Saurians, they would look at me the same way you're looking at me now. Helpless and embarrassed. Wait, but you're the one getting your head chewed off. Stop making this about us! Ah, uh, indeed. You've got a point. Then please just hang in there for a little while. Oh? You dare gossip between yourselves instead of listening to me? Uh, sorry, sorry. <sighs> sorry, Grit, you say all the right things. But um, who's Etha? A deli <sighs> That's irrelevant. The point is, he hangs out with this kid, so he must be no good. <sighs> you kids get to a certain age and suddenly act like you know it all. There's nothing I can say to get through to you, Auroron. If you're still thinking about that so-called duty, then please, just forget about it. The ley lines did not fall to this state because of you. And we've long closed the book on that incident. Uh, seems they've started talking about some kind of tribal history. That's not it, Granny. I know you tend to get down on yourself when you're upset, but I can tell I really hurt you this time. All I can say is, I'm sorry. His voice? Auroron! Where have you gone? It sounds like he's somewhere super far away, but isn't he right here in front of us? I'm really sorry. It's up to all of us to do everything we can to save Natlan. Get back here this instant! Auroron! Uh, what is this? Powder from plant spores? What just happened? How was he able to suddenly get... Oh, it's a trick of his. If you grind spores into a powder and spray it in the air, it can be manipulated to create an illusion. He pulled it off flawlessly. He must have put a lot of time into perfecting it. Don't tell me that's how he's been hunting in the fields these days. Oh, couldn't he have picked up something more useful? Ugh, little brat. That's it. The next time we meet, I'm definitely going to break his legs. Whoa, that's a little extreme. <laughs> But... Uh, I'm sorry for inter... Auroron probably did everything he could to get... A uh, 
Uh, we've got quite a long walk back to the city. Let's take our time. Also wir wissen ja, dass der Pyro Arkon noch ein paar Tricks hat. Ähm, wer den Livestream gesehen Moment! Halt, stopp! Wo kommt dieses Kistensymbol her? Hä? Bei the... Wo? Hä? Wo kommt diese... Ist das das, was ich mir markiert hatte? Nee. Da... 97... Hä? Wo kommt diese Kiste her? Die war doch eben gerade noch nicht angezeigt, dass eine Kiste in der Nähe ist, als wir hier lang... Da, fuck. 98%. Danke, danke für die Kiste. Hä, wo kommt die auf einmal her? Da. Nun. Ich verstehe das Spiel nicht mehr. Ich habe gedacht, ich muss nur noch irgendwelche Herausforderungsdinger hier bei ihm machen, da drei Kisten bekommen. Weil, warte. Da unten ist so ein Herausforderungsding wo du drei Kisten halt bekommen kannst und dann bin ich mit dem Gebiet hier fertig. Dafür steht da fucking auf einmal noch eine Kiste. Hä? Ich bin gerade ein bisschen überfordert, warum, wo die auf einmal noch herkommt. Ah, okay. Also wir haben ja schon gesehen, dass der Pyro Arkon was macht. Also wer den Livestream gesehen hat. Und auch zum Trailer von 5.0 haben wir ja gesehen, dass der Pyro Arkon noch irgendwie so ein Feuerwesen, whatever, noch irgendwie versteckt hat. Do you two have some time? Feeling hungry? How about we get something to eat? Oh, right. It's been a while since we last ate. Now that we can relax, Paimon just realized how hungry she is. Ah, uh, then let's go. We can find somewhere to sit down and talk. Food and drinks are on me. Uh, really? <laughs> You're not gonna take her offer? That's right. See, Lolly has gotten a lot quieter since Aurora ran away. She seems to be having a hard time. Uh, she's right. We're seasoned adventurers, so we're more than capable of paying our own bills. Hey, come on now. You won't even let me take you out for some food and drinks? Uh, are you sure? We can save you some Mora. <laughs> uh, Mora is the least of my concerns. Besides, we're definitely due a meal after all the time we've spent together. Let me get this one. I might be an old hag, but I like to think I'm not completely useless. Sure, that's fine with us, but... <laughs> Don't worry. I'm sure a juicy grilled steak will work wonders. Die weiß nicht, wie viel Paimon ist. Gleich fallen ihr die Augen raus, wenn sie das sieht. Ah, wir essen hinten in der Kammer. <lacht> What are you looking at? Uh, do you see two people standing by the door? They look like spitting images of each other. Are they twins? <laughs> yeah. But I'm an only. Huh? Uh, 
how could that be? Huh? I guess my mind isn't as sharp as he... You can keep them. There you go, miss. Oh, my. Thought every day you get to see Granny Ipsley here with some friends. Not... Oh, so you've heard of us? <laughs> of course I have. Aren't you the ones who saved Kachina and brought her back? No wonder you hit it off with Granny Fidlali. She wouldn't spend time with just anybody, you know. <sighs> Wait, so you call her Granny too? Well, given our ages, it'd probably be more accurate for me to call her my great-great-granny. <laughs> She's one of the most famous people at the Masters of the Night Wind. Most days, hardly anyone even dares talk to her. Huh? Gossiping about me right in front of my face now, are you, Chanka? Oh, please, Granny, I wouldn't dare. I'm just beyond happy to see you bring over some new friends. All right, that's enough. Go on now. I'm sure the other customers would like to talk to you as well. There's no need to keep staring at me. I promise I'll keep my alcohol down until I leave. <laughs> Well then, you have my thanks. Knocked out. Zu viel gesoffen. Who's that? You got some gall calling me by my first name. Uh, let me guess. You want to test your skills against Granny Eatsley. D uh, are you still with the Seat Lolly? You, uh, you chumps come around here picking fights with me. Well, you know what happens next. You lose and then run off home to tell everyone about how I'm this big scary bully. It's always the same story. You brats start it, I finish it, and then I end up with the reputation of being some kind of terrible monster among the shamans. I mean, come on. Monster? Me? Really? W what did I do to deserve that? Granny Seat Lolly, you're not a... Exactly. And while we're at it... I'm not some lazy slacker either. Between meditation, advising the chief, and speaking with the Wyub, I actually have a pretty packed schedule, you... <laughs> oh yeah. And I have to mentor all the new kids. Hey, new kid. Yeah, you. Uh, don't play dumb. Didn't I teach you how to find Flojistin? You see? I know my stuff. I'm a good teacher. You tell him. Oh, that's more like it. About dang time someone showed me a little respect. Yeah, Granny's a hard worker, all right. You can always rely on old Granny. <laughs> Did she just fall asleep with her eyes open? Behind this pitch black curtain. A chapter of hatred reveals itself behind the smoke. The lingering smoke. Ah, she's meditating again. She does this whenever she's had a few too many drinks. Her mind's actually racing at this point. Is this another specialty of the Masters of the Nightwind? No, I'd say it's an ability that's unique to Sit Lolly herself. While she can easily pick up everyone else's skills and tricks, few have been able to master hers. Warning, warning. Red, red, the color of danger, has now arisen within that pair of eyes. Huh? A <gasps> uh, traveler? What's wrong? Uh, 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 I'm gonna hurl. Hang on. Uh, uh, phew. Okay, it's passed. You had Paimon worried. I really thought you were about to barf all over the table just now. Ugh, oh, how embarrassing. I'm sorry you had to see me like that. That's never happened before, I swear. I've never thrown up, not once. Are you feeling okay? Want 
wanna take a quick walk and get- uh, uh, There's so much that I wanna say, but... Why not? Of course you can, just say whatever you want- uh, Please, Paimon, it's not as simple as you think. We've only known each other for a few days, right? What would you think of me if I were to start dumping all of my complaints on you after we've only just met? Oh, Paimon gets it. You're hoping that we wouldn't think less of you no matter what you're about to say. Uh, no, that wasn't my point at all! Seriously, don't you youngsters know anything about shame? I'm talking about shame! I've lived all these years and still can't get rid of it! Um... Actually, <laughs> about that... Huh? Tell me what- Yeah! This is as- Uh, uh, this is so... It's okay, Seed Lolly. You had every right to complain about those things. Uh, I can't take it anymore! Why do these things happen to me? <sighs> hearing me mumble under my breath is one thing, but hearing what I mumble in my own head? That's too much! It's just like when you're rolling on the floor in your pajamas, but you forget to lock the door, and someone bursts in to deliver cabbages and sees the whole thing! So that, uh... It happens to people in general, okay? Doesn't matter if you're 200 years old or a thousand years old. Everyone rolls around in their pajamas sometimes. I was just picking something generic. <sighs> Wo pyjama picks? Take a walk with me. I... I have things to share with Looks like she's completely given up. Like those criminals who just confess everything and accept their fate. <laughs> <laughs> um. Will sie nur raus oder? Need a surfboard? Gleich wahrscheinlich. Mhm. Mm Ja, sie will auch hoch. Oh. Wo will sie? Ach, sie will in die Arena rein. Ähm, wo war... Hier war das Becken. Hier war doch irgendwo so ein Durchgang. Bin ich blöd? Ah ne, der war einfach nur nach draußen, ne? Warum will sie da hoch? Hey, das Spiel mobbt mich. Hä? War hier nicht irgendwo ein Durchgang, dass man auf die Tribüne gekommen ist? Das war wieder nach draußen. Ich bin doof. Wo war dieser Durchgang? Ach, war das die Tür hier? Ja, das war die Tür. Ich wusste, dass irgendwo eine Tür ist, weil man hier ja auch ein paar Kisten hier hinten hinter dem Ding holen muss und da ganz oben rauf muss für den Pyrokolos. Aber ich wusste nicht mehr, wo die Tür ist. 
Great view, right? I love coming here by myself. Wow, it's beautiful! <laughs> You're making me want to cry. Oh no, what did you do? Please don't cry! I was an expression, okay? A figure of speech. I'm just... <sighs> embarrassed. Here you are thanking me. Even after you helped me all this time. Let's just have a casual conversation. It's easiest that way. Really? You don't seem like the kind of person who keeps things casual. Well, I guess I used to be more of a stickler for the rules. And you're right. I don't usually open up to the people of my tribe like this. I'm just an eccentric old hag to them. That story's been passed down so long. It might as well be true. But you're just a regular person. <laughs> uh, the kids of my tribe would have a heart attack if they heard you say that. Granny Eatsley is a powerful figure. Be careful around her. That's what they'd say. Well, you are powerful. Are they afraid of you? Uh, some are. Others are mad I always come out on top. A few decades like that. And people stop knowing how to deal with you. What about you? Are you scared of me? We don't find you scary at all. Huh. That's because you're not from my tribe. You don't know how many delusions of grandeur I've destroyed just by existing. I make people realize that no matter how hard they work, they'll never become a living legend like me. Oh, uh, not to brag or anything. <laughs> Maybe it's hard to believe. Just... Just pretend I never said anything. We believe you. Shulonen has full faith in your abilities, and Aurora didn't seem scared of you. Kids used to view us as granny, right? Yes, but Auroran's a special case. Mawika already told you about her plan. And you've given so much help to Auroran and me. You deserve to learn the full truth. Auroran's not like other people. As I mentioned, he was abandoned as a child. The reason being, his soul is incomplete. The Masters of the Nightwind view this as a bad omen, capable of bringing about illness and misfortune. No one knows who his parents were. He was just... left on a rock in the wilderness. It's a miracle he wasn't devoured by some wild beast. The Masters of the Nightwind believe they can see human souls, and in Auroran's incomplete soul, they saw a possibility for Natlan. A possibility to turn Auroran into a vessel for lost souls. The ceremony would allow lost souls to gather within him. Auroran would then be sent to the Night Kingdom to return the souls to their rightful place, strengthening the ley lines and completing the ceremony. Wait, that doesn't sound right. Now you see the problem. When damage occurs to the Night Kingdom, the souls held within disperse and remain adrift. Unable to find a way back to the ley lines. This loss of souls damages the Night Kingdom even further. The ceremony can send back countless souls at once, which would benefit the Night Kingdom and the souls themselves. Of course, the vessel, Auroran, would be sacrificed in the process. I wasn't surprised the Chief at the time came up with the plan. The ley lines were already in a terrible state. A suitable candidate for the ceremony appears? And now you have the chance to make things better. Of course you're going to take it. When the chief asked for my opinion, I didn't give my approval, but I didn't object either. So they went ahead with the ceremony. It failed, and Auroran escaped with his life. <laughs> Pathetic, isn't it? By not objecting, I basically gave them the go-ahead. 
Maybe they didn't have my explicit approval, but it's not like I did the right thing. If the ceremony was successful, Auroron would probably be dead. Of course, in my tribe, death is rarely something to fear. But what kind of message would we be sending by sentencing a newborn to death? By using a human life as a tool? It's not right. So, when I learned the ceremony had failed, I was ashamed by my inaction and absolutely relieved by the result. The plan was never a secret. Or, I guess I should say, there was no point to keeping it a secret. A simple investigation from Auroron would reveal everything. Everyone thought he would be happy he survived. And he never really said anything to the contrary. But, just as I was about to put all of it behind me, he asks this question. Would Natlan have been saved? If the ceremony succeeded? Wait! But... It's not his fault! He knows that. But he still feels guilty. Auroron has a strong ability to perceive souls. More than any of us. He understands just how dire the situation with ley lines has become. Maybe... He chose to work with the Fatui... Because he still thinks he owes a debt to Natlan. I can only imagine what they told him. Traveler, didn't the captain say he'd found a way to solve the crisis? Maybe that's what brought Auroron into this. Anyway, we can't just let things go on like this. We have to convince him to come back! I... You don't look so good, Suit Lolly. Maybe you should head back and get some sleep. Uh, probably drank too much. <laughs> It's okay. Uh, the fresh air is doing me good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, forget. Uh, you've helped me so much already. How do I even begin to thank you? Hey, we're friends, aren't we? Besides, you already said you owe us a favor, so you don't need to worry about us. Uh, good point. Well, I'll go home and get some sleep. We can figure out our next move in the morning. Friends. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Auroran's probably back with the captain, don't you think? I mean, about the backup plan? Do you really believe what the captain told us? Yeah, you're right. We should just go to her directly. But she's probably asleep. We can find her first thing in the morning. For now, let's... <laughs> go to bed. Okay.